My name is Sarah Corbett Lynch, and today I'm going to be reading you a story which is brought by Children's Bereavement Network. Today's story is called Noodle Loses Dad. And guess what? It's my book, and I wrote it. So I decided to read this book today because I think that everybody can relate to it in some way, and I think that even, like, I feel lost and scared sometimes, and I think that we all do sometimes, and this book really helps to explain how we feel. So before I start reading, I think that I should introduce you to my characters. So first, I would like you to meet the Fox family. There is Poochie, Pug, Nudge, and Kaz. Next, I want to introduce you to the Bear family. There is Booga Wooga, Paws, and Noodle. So let's get straight into the story. Once upon a time, in a place called the Woodland Forest, there lived three bears. Noodle, her brother Paws, and their dad, Booga Wooga. The forest was the most beautiful place, full of bright, vibrant colours and happiness. One day, Noodle and Paws went to play with their cousins, the Fox Brothers, Kaz and Nudge. Dad told them always to be careful, as outside the village, high in the mountains, lived an evil vulture. Dad always said to have fun, but to come straight home. When they were walking home, Noodle and Paws heard a loud squawk. They ran to look. The vulture had come to the village, but was not leaving alone. It had Booga Wooga. Dad, Dad, Noodle shouted. Noodle and Paws ran and ran, but they couldn't catch up. Noodle fell to her knees. They were lost. She felt lonely, angry, sad, and scared. Suddenly, the Fox brothers, Kaz and Nudge, appeared out of nowhere with their mom and dad. What are you doing out here, said Nudge. The evil vulture took our dad, said Noodle. We were trying to keep up, but we got lost. I've heard stories about that vulture, said Nudge. Sometimes, when they take someone, they don't come back. Poochie, Noodle and Paws searched and searched, but found nothing. Dad was not coming home. Noodle and Paws felt lonely and afraid. They didn't feel safe in the woodland forest. The Fox family invited Noodle and Paws to come live with them across the pond. They all sailed across to Acorn Island. For a time, Noodle and Paws didn't seem to fit in. Lots of friends whispered that the bears and the foxes were not a family because they looked different. Kaz and Nudge started to share their home and friendship with Noodle and Paws. They began to feel like a regular family. Poochie and Pug treated Paws and Noodle just like their very own foxes. They became a new blended family, one built with love. Noodle, Paws, Pug and Poochie searched for Bugawaga for two years, but with no luck. It was hard, but they had to stop searching. Booga Wooga was not coming home. Noodle began to settle into her new home and make friends. She met Bon Bon and Rainbow at Acorn Park. They played boo ball. Noodle was happy and it felt good. This is my favorite page in the whole book because I think it's the brightest and I just, it just looks really happy and it always brings a smile to my face and I really hope it brings a smile to yours too. Noodle and Paws know that they are surrounded by love. They learned you might feel lost and scared, but you will always find your way. So even though that they lost their dad, and it was really sad, they gained two amazing brothers and two spectacular parents that formed their new blended family. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed story time here today with me as much as I enjoyed it with you. Thank you for letting me do this today. And if you really love the book, you guys can go to my website at sarahcorbettlynch.com and check it out there. Bye!